Today I am going to do a billboard replacement of any board, any flat plane area. We start from this and ends with this. Pretty simple. And before you start, you need Blender 3.3 or above for this. So let's get started. Let's start with a VFX template. This will give us this layout with movie clip editor with tracking mode selected. Now let's open our clip. Here I have this clip of this billboard. I am going to replace this with something of my own. Click set scene frame. This will set our end frame to match the clip's length. We need to set some other settings before moving forward. You can see our clip is 1920 by 1080 and 23.98 FPS. Let's set that in our project settings. And also in the render settings under color management, make sure you have standard instead of filmic. Now hit prefetch. This will load our clip into the project for faster playback. You can see we get a lot more smoother and faster playback. Now I'm going to create some tracks. Pick a point in the corner of the board. Here I will pick this star and control click on it. To create a new track. Here in the track tab, you can see the tracking area. Scale up the track. Here I use location tracking option. Now in the track section, click this button to track forward. Now come back to previous frame and hit track forward. This will give us a nice looking track of that star. Now I pick another three points and track them as well. You can create the tracking point in the first frame and track them forward. There are better tracking points in this clip but here I try to select some points close to each corner of the board to get better results in the corners when we add our new image. These four tracks will do the job. Now go to the solve tab. Select all of our tracking points and create a new plane track. This will create this plane around our four tracking points. Now I distort this plane to cover whole board including the frame. In this plane track settings, click on this drop down and select new image from plane marker. This is the option why you need Blender 3.3 for this tutorial. What this does is it will create a new image from the area we selected. To see that generated image well, go to this rendering workspace and select the plane track image from the drop down. This is the image we're going to modify. Now, save this image in your desired location. To modify the image, you can use any application like Photoshop, Kim, Photophia, or even Blender if you like to go that route. Whatever the application you use, all you have to do is create your new image inside this frame because we are going to set everything else transparent. Here, I create this simple Blender logo in this red background. Adjust its corners just a bit and now I will create a mask around the frame. Also add an inner shadow to replicate the shadow casted by the frame. I added a little bit of blur and some textures to give the image some variations and also added some noise. Now set everything else to transparent. Here I hide our imported plane track image and save our new image. In fact, I am going to overwrite our plane track image. Set the file type to PNG because we want our alpha to work. You can also just save the PSD file because uh, Blender supports PSD as well. Now come back to Blender and in the image settings, you can reopen that file or reload the texture. Go to motion tracking workspace and you can see it updated in there as well. But how are we going to export this new clip? For that, we need to do some compositing. Go to Compositing Workspace, Enable, Use Nodes. Delete the render layer node. Now add a movie clip node. Select our clip from here. Ctrl Shift click to get a viewer node. Shift drag to create a reroute and plug it to composite as well. Add a new image and select our image. To add this to our clip, first we need to make it work with our plane track. For that, 
drag from the image output and search for plain track deform. Select our clip, camera and our track. Now search for alpha over node and plug the new image into the second slot. Let's add some motion blur to the image. Now you can see our billboard replacement is working but it has this weird outline created by the PNG image. So here I pick the PSD file and it automatically fixed that issue. And now it's done. Hit Ctrl F12 to render the animation. That's it. If you like to see how I created these effects, check these videos out. So I hope you learned something cool, something new. I mean, that's what we like to do. We not only create stuff, we let you create with us. Hit the like button, comment your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe to HelloFX Learn so you won't miss out when the next video drops. Until next time, 